Wrestling Mart is the world's largest wrestling retail showroom with the highest quality customer service and most comprehensive selection of wrestling products for wrestlers of all ages and levels. Wrestling shoes, headgear, singlets, mouth guards, apparel, mat tape, cleaning supplies, and more from all the top brands. Wrestling Mart is fully staffed by former elite wrestlers that will help you hand select the perfect gear. Come and shop the world's largest wrestling retail showroom. Visit us online or call to speak to a wrestling expert. Wrestling Mart, all wrestling, all the time. Hi everybody, I'm Larry Nugent. I'll be your host for The Legend Chronicles. This is season one, episode one, 1963, the year from hell. We're here at the fabulous Wrestling Mart showroom, the largest showcase of wrestling in the world. You gotta come here and visit it sometime, and they're helping us sponsor this, so thanks to the Wrestling Mart. I've got two of wrestling's great icons with me, Wayne Bachman and Bobby Douglas, and we're gonna get right into this thing. Wayne, we need to introduce you and Bobby to the audience. Tell us a little bit about your childhood, maybe how you got interested in wrestling, first influences, then we'll go into some of your collegiate wrestling. Well, first of all, I learned to wrestle, run, and fight on the Caddo Kiowa Indian Reservation, mostly wrestle and run, because I, I mean wrestle and fight, because I couldn't run very well. But um, at any rate, a young Indian lad, and the Indians were required to go to boarding schools, but he came home for the summer, and I think I was seven, he was probably 12 or 13, but I was big for my age, and he was a pretty small for his age. But he had learned wrestling from his grandfather. And wrestling uh, was both a sport for the Indians, but it also uh, was a part of fighting for the Indians. And their style was mostly Sambo, Judo, Greco-Roman oriented. It was mostly upper body, because if uh, they shot a double or single, you get knee in the face. So that's where I really started wrestling and then forgot about it for many years until then I started my high school and college wrestling. Fantastic, and uh, you were never a state champion in high school. No, right? no, I take great pride in the fact that I was in 25 national championships, my record was 16 first, seven seconds and two thirds, and I never placed lower than third, but the highest I ever placed my state championship was third, so at least I improved a little bit. Okay, well now let's go to the film. This is a film of you winning the NCAA championship against one of the great wrestlers, Joe James, from your cross-state rivals, uh, Oklahoma State. So kind of talk us through that match. Well, I was very fortunate, first of all, to beat Joe James. Uh, everybody told me how little and pale I looked. He was actually the best-built human, best-built wrestler I have ever seen. And uh, I looked awfully small out there, but the bottom line is um, uh, I was, I think, a, a good mat wrestler. I was able to win it on a switch in the last uh, 30 seconds and had to ride him out to win a match and was extremely lucky to pull it off. Yeah, yeah. Well, Bobby, let's talk about your 1963 experience. You wrestled Mickey Martin, who became the outstanding wrestler. I guess it kind of speaks for itself then that, you know, you struggled to beat Mickey Martin in that match. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's probably one of the low points in my, uh, my wrestling career. I was uh, very, very disappointed in in my performance, but I wrestled against one of the greatest collegiate wrestlers of all times as far as I was concerned. Had the strongest grip of any wrestler I'd ever come in contact with. And uh, I was a sophomore in, in college at West Liberty State College in uh, West Liberty, uh, West Virginia. My coach was George Kavalik and uh, we were together from the beginning of my wrestling career. Uh, we were we were kind of surprised to be in the finals of the NCAA tournament. And uh, the results are the results. One of the most disappointing performances that I've ever had. Uh, I, I went on to try and make up for that by uh, competing in the international level and was successful and tried to get another shot at Mickey Martin, which I never got. Well, this uh, first episode of The Legend Chronicles is about coming to an end. Uh, we've got a lot more going for us, though. TheLegendChronicles.com. Make sure you go and finish listening to this episode. We've got 25 minutes. Great stuff. These guys can really let loose when they're not on the TV. We'll be online, so make sure you do that. Uh, if you don't remember your history, your history will forget you. Don't forget to go to the TheLegendChronicles.com. TheLegendChronicles.com. Go to Wrestling Mart and Wrestling Mart's Facebook page 
and we'll see you on the other side. Women's wrestling has become a huge part of so many lives, and the National Registry for Wrestling needs your help for it to continue to grow. You see this confidence about yourself. I'm able to just approach situations and just have the understanding that I can do that because I believe in myself, and wrestling taught me that. It's changed me as a person. It's given me confidence, and it's made me tougher. I'm Adeline Gray. My name is Helen Morales. Register at nr4w.com. nr4w.com. Wrestling for our women of today, tomorrow, and forever.